on the Red Horse Ranch. friends of the Red Horse Ranch have returned home after an exciting week at the Danville Rodeo. Alabama's horse, despite Bradford's foul play, won the final horse race of the rodeo. Naturally, the boys can think of little else to talk about. Let's join them. It seems mighty quiet back here at the ranch after being at that rodeo the last few days. Well, that was one of the greatest rides I ever saw in my life. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to Alabama. That was one of the greatest rides you ever made on any horse. Oh, Thanks, oh, Bob. Shucks. I suppose you didn't see me when I straddled that longhorn. I know he was a wild one, but I says to myself, Arizona, I says, you got to win for the honor of the Red Horse Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> well, get the side. What did Bradford have to say about the race after it was over, Alabama? Well, to tell the truth about it, Cheyenne, I didn't trust myself to talk to Bradford after the way he tried to foul my horse on that back stretch. Well, that well, rattlesnake won't stop at nothing to get what he wants, will he? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's one thing he didn't get. That prize saddle is hanging right here in the bunkhouse, yeah. thanks to Red. But listen... It was you boys that carried off the honors at that rodeo. Thanks, Alabama. When I seen that steer, I knowed he was a wild one. But I says to myself, I says, Arizona, you got a win. The whole outfit went to town at that rodeo, it seemed to me. Yeah. yeah, and when we wasn't riding, we was singing for the folks. I mean, really singing. Yeah, but you know, Alabama, we didn't sing any of them real pretty songs that most folks like so well. I'd like to sing one of them right now. Well, go ahead. Come on, boys. Oh, mm -hmm. 
words came low and mournfully from the pallid lips of a youth who lay on his dying that wild tear at the rodeo. There he goes again. Well, sir, the moment I seen him, I knowed he was a wild yeah, one. Say that once more and we'll all be going wild around here. Yeah, well, I didn't see you winning any prizes. They didn't have no love-making contests over there. Arizona, haven't you got any more sense? Well, Tenderfoot, come on back here. Well, looks like you kind of got under Tenderfoot's skin, Arizona. Oh, shucks. What do you have to walk off about that for? I was only kidding. Arizona, I ought to hear you down and stomp on you for that. You know how he's been feeling. I've noticed he hadn't had much to say since you brought him back the other day, Alabama. Yeah. I guess he has been feeling pretty blue. And now, Arizona, you get on out there and apologize to Tenderfoot and hurry up about it. Gosh, sure, I'll apologize to him. But I didn't know I said anything. Arizona ain't got much tact. But he sure is a good sport, ain't he? Yes, you all are, fellas. We just haven't thought of the way we've been joking, Tenderfoot, ever since he's been here. I think it's about time we cut it out, don't you? I yeah, reckon I you're so. about right, Alabama. Him trying to go away like he did proves how he's been taking all this to heart, it especially does. about Rose. Yes, and it's the first love affair he ever had. And so. joking him sure ain't going to help none. Now... What do you say we do everything we can to make him feel like he ain't a tenderfoot no more? Well, sure, right. I'll, I'll right. do what I can, Alabam. I know Ain't no one thinks more of tenderfoot than I do. Well, what do you suppose we ought to do, Alabam? Well, uh, treat him just like he were, you would the rest of us. Show him that you're glad he's here. Say, hmm? ain't that him in Arizona playing out there already? Oh, well, <laughs> why, it is, sure enough. They must have made up already. Yeah, I, I tell you, boys, huh? let's go out there and join them. And the rest of you fellas bring your instruments. That's right. a good oh, idea. Yeah. Uh, don't forget your instruments. Come on, remember what I said, boys. Yeah. Tenderfoot must be playing to that moon up there. That's all right. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, well, where'd you fellows come from? Well, hello, Tenderfoot, you old sourdough, you. Huh? Say, Tenderfoot, that well, fiddle really sounded great, oh, boy. Yes, yes sir. Are oh, you, Tenderfoot, you old maverick, you? Oh, hey, say, what's the idea? You want me to do something for you? Oh, golly, Tenderfoot, I'm sure glad to see well, you. Yes, yes, sir, and that music sounded great. Say, how are you anyway, boy? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. What have I done to deserve all this? Uh, oh, oh, let's uh, sing something, boys. Yeah, let's sing. <laughs> I had a gal and her name was Sue. I had a gal and her name was Sue. Her face was fair and her eyes were blue. Ring tum family a. I loved her and she loved me. I loved her and she loved me. Where one of us went, the other would be. Ring tum family a. She lived up on a mountain high. She lived up on a mountain high. When I would leave her, she would cry. Ring dum family a. She'd be my wife. Ask her if she'd be my wife. Then we lived happy all our life. Ring tum fally. Say, where's Dooley Alley, Bam? I haven't seen him around here all evening. Oh, Rose had him up the house for supper. She's taking quite a liking to the young fella, I guess. Dewey's taking quite a liking to Rose, too. Yeah. I guess his life has changed a lot after living with those outlaws where that kid come from. Yeah. Dewey will be down to the bunkhouse for long, him and his dog. Say, who do you suppose that is riding in here this time of evening? Well, uh, howdy, partner. Howdy, Alabama. Hello, boys. <laughs> well, it's Hello. Lim Higgins. How are you, Lim? Hi, Come on down off that hill. Just on your way home from the rodeo, Lim? Well, that's <laughs> right, boys. I just dropped by to give you a little news I thought you might like to know. Well, let's hear it, Lim. Well, you boys sure did carry off the prizes from the rodeo. Thanks, Lim. I guess you saw me ride that steer. <laughs> I know he was a wild one, but I says to myself, Arizona, I says. You gotta win for the honor of the Red Horse Ring. Yeah, I hear tell that stair stomped on you something awful. Right? <laughs> well, what was it you was going to tell us, Lim? Well, it was Trigger Dawson's gang that you boys had that gun battle with over at Roaring River, wasn't it? Yeah, we cleaned them out, though. They're all locked up in the county jail. What's left of them? Yeah, well, that's what I come to tell you. The news just came to me over in Danville that two of the boys escaped last night. What? Sure oh. enough. Well, say, that sounds bad. I hope they don't make any trouble. I guess that's nothing for us to worry about, though. Well, maybe it isn't, but maybe it is. Alabama's right. It wouldn't do any harm for the boys on the Red Horse Ranch to be on the lookout.